So now let me get back to actually udeming this entire asset. So I'm going to close down the example udem and I'm going to focus on the drone. So first part is the package, right? I click on the package and it's already udemed up. And you know what? I'm going to leave this these EVs exactly where they are. Next up is the main body. And what I like to do when I'm udeming uh, anything really is if I have a major component or major part of an asset, I like to make sure that they use, for example, an entire row of UDIMs, right? So I have, for example, uh, in my case, I could have the main body have one row, and then I have the uh, thrusters or, um, you know, whatever, uh, focus on part two or row number two or row number three. And I do this the same uh, for characters, for example, I have uh, all my head UDIMs on one, I have my arm uh, like arm left on one, arm right on one, and leg, and other leg, and so on and so on, until I fill up all this uh, space. Now, uh, one thing that I have not talked about yet is uh, this grid setup. By default, it's actually not set up like this at all. By default, what you're going to get is if you go into the options here, and go into properties, uh, what you probably will be getting is something like this, right? So you have the negative space and you have the positive space and you have something like this. And it's going to be hard to be able to visualize how much you can actually fill, right? So in my case, I'm just going to go back into properties and I'm going to expand this to 10, the U high span and the low uh, high span also, no, not, not, not the negative one, but this one here to also go into 10 and now my UDIMs are or at least my visualization for my grid is set up so now that I have a hundred UDIMs that I can work with. If you need to do more on a much larger asset, very simple properties and high span make it go to like a hundred or something like that, right? And now you have many, many more uh, UDIMs that you could utilize. Okay. So let me start. So all these assets right here, all these objects, because the package is already using the 1001 space, I'm going to move these into 1002. So in my position U, I'm just going to move them over by one uh, in the U direction, right? Now this is U and V, right? So U being the left and right, or almost like the X axis, and V being, well, quite frankly, you could even call it the vertical if you, if you want, right? Um, so we're gonna work upwards. Okay, so now we have the main body, all the textures uh, or UVs moved over by one because the package again is on this item here. And asset by asset, we're just gonna move things to the left. Okay, so I'm gonna move this over by one. I'm gonna move the next one over by two. Next one over by three. and so on, and so on, so on, and on. Okay, so now as you can see, I have all my UDIMs for this particular part of the model uh, done. And all I really have to do is just continue through the rest of the asset, going through all these different objects, and making sure that I fill up all these spaces. But remember, always only work with integer uh, numbers, right? So make sure that you're only working with ones or twos or threes. Never go into actual floating point values. So let me just uh, go into this object and then the rest of it I'm going to uh, time lapse. Okay, so in this case, uh, now, um, again, because I don't want to, I don't have to necessarily use all these uh, grid units, right? I, again, I want to make sure that this first one is focused on the main body of the asset, right? So that it's, it's a little bit more readable uh, for me later on. Now I'm going to take this hydraulic one and I'm going to move it over by V1, okay? And I'm going to now go into this asset, move it over by one and two and Three. These are not the best laid out UVs, are they? Because right now everything kind of fell on one texture. So you know what, if I really wanted to, what I could do is I could go back into this asset, 
go back into pack, right? Make sure I choose a smaller pack. Okay, and now I can move vertically by one. And now this texture takes up a lot more texture space, which is better, right? Now I could make sure that this possibly takes or uses up more texture space. So let me pack this one as well. Okay, and I'm going to move it up by one and one to get it back into the space. I'm going to go into the next object. Again, do the same thing. I'm just going to pack these. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, and it's going to go up one and two. Now the other thing you could do is, I mean, if you don't want to use those values necessarily um, right away, because you might not know the exact numbers where they fall, you can just very easily just move them over manually, and you have more or less the numbers that you need to move them by, right? The only thing you need to do is just remove the little point zero two in this case, right? So one, and then I just need to remove the point zero four just to move it, move it over by three, right? Same deal. Okay, so now we're done with this part of the model, and I could go on and do the rest.